Good morning to all. In the last class, we started with the chapter Weather and Seasons. And we learned about weather. When we learned about seasons, then what did we learn? We learned how seasons affect living things. So I hope you all are clear with the topic. So now let's move to the exercise in page number 112. So you all can take your textbook and take page number 112. So let's start with the first exercise. So tick the correct options. So there are four questions. I'll read out the questions and options. So you can tick the answers. See the first one. Places which are close to the sea have humid weather, cold weather, warm weather, dry weather. The second one. In summer, the days are cold and windy, sunny and warm, dark and cold, cold and humid. See the third one. In winter, the days are long, humid, hot, short. The fourth one. Seasons affect all living things, only animals, only some plants and animals. Only plants. Now let's see the answers. So what is the answer for the first one? Places which are close to the sea have. What type of weather? Humid weather. Okay. Second one. In summer, the days are. During summer season, the days are sunny and warm. That is the second one. Third one. In winter, the days are. So during winter season, the days are short and nights are long. But it is in summer, the days are long and nights are short. So the answer is short. See the fourth one. Seasons affect all living things. So the answer is all living things. All living things are affected by seasons. Now let's move to the second exercise, true or false. So you can tick the true statements and you can cross the false ones. So see the first one. Weather conditions are caused by changes in the air. If it is true, you can tick there. If it is false, you can cross. See the second one. The weather of a place always remains the same. Third one. Rice is grown during the rainy season. Fourth one. All parts of a country have similar weather. So let's see the answers. So what is the answer for the first one? Weather conditions are caused by changes in the air. The answer is true. The, most of the weather condition is caused by the air around us. So the answer is true. Second one, the weather of a place always remains the same. So what is the answer? The answer is false. The weather does not remain the same. It changes frequently. Third one, rice is grown during the rainy season. So what is the answer? It is true. Fourth one, all parts of a country have similar weather. Is the answer right? No, it is false. All parts of a country do not have similar weather. Now let's move to the third exercise. Answer the following questions. So here you have four questions. Once we are done with the discussion, you can write it down in your notebook. So let's start with the first one. So what is the first question? What causes most weather conditions around us? So see the answer. Most weather conditions are caused by the air around us. So the air is everywhere and most of the other weather conditions are caused by the air around us. Let's see the second question. Let's see the second question. During which season does the weather become warm? So which season? It is the summer. In summer, the weather becomes warm. See the third one. What makes the weather cold? If air becomes cold, the weather also becomes cold. If the air around us is cold, the weather also becomes cold. See the fourth one. Name three main seasons of India. 
So you all know the three main seasons. So which are they? Summer, rainy and winter are the main seasons in India. Now let's move to the fourth exercise. Answer the following questions in two or three sentences. So let's start with the first one. Describe the rainy season. The rainy season is also called as monsoon. So it is also called monsoon. It begins in May or June and lasts till September. So it starts from May or June and it ends in September. During the monsoon, there is a large amount of water vapor in the air and the weather is humid. So during monsoon, it is humid weather. Why? Because the air contains large amount of water vapor. Now let's see the second one. Explain an activity to find out the direction of the wind. So we have already discussed that activity in the last class. So let's discuss that once again. Okay. So, so describe an activity to find out the direction of the wind. So see the answer. For that, fix a rectangular paper at one end of a broomstick and a piece of paper cut into an arrowhead on the other hand. So if you take page number 108, you can see that picture there. Okay. Then fix the stick on the eraser of a pencil with the help of a pin. Then fill a bottle with sand and make the pencil stand in the bottle. Then what do you need to do? So place this outside. And when the wind blows, what happens? The direction of the paper arrow will tell the direction of the wind. So this is the activity that explain the wind direction. This is the activity that explain the direction of the wind. Let's move to the third one. Give suitable examples to show that animals are affected by seasons. So we discussed that living things are affected by seasons. So here the question is how animals are affected by seasons. So let's see the answer. Animals are affected by the seasons. Birds such as the Siberian cranes that live in very cold places fly away in warmer parts in winter. So, so, so the birds such as the Siberian cranes they live in cold places but during the winter season, they move to warmer parts. Then, frogs remain underground in winter and summer because they cannot bear either very cold or hot weather. What about the frog? They remain underground during winter and summer. Why? Because they are not able to bear the hot and cold weather condition. Now, let's move to the fourth one. How do seasons affect our habits? Explain with examples. So let's see the answer. Seasons affect our habits as in winter we wear warm clothes and like to eat warm food. Then during winter season we all like to have warm food. We also sleep for a longer time in winter. Then what about in summer? In warm summer we wear loose cotton clothes. Why do we wear loose cotton clothes? To keep our body cool. We drink lots of water and eat mangoes, watermelons which are available in plenty. So we learnt that fruits such as watermelons and mangoes, they ripen during summer season. We also eat curds and ice creams during this season. So the seasons affect our habits also. Moving to the next one, higher order thinking skills. So in that you have two questions. Let's see the first one. Why do we feel cold in winter? See the answer. In winter, the air around us is very cold. So we learnt that the weather conditions are caused by air around us. So during winter season, it is very cold. So the air around us is very cold. So hence, we feel cold in winter winter. Second one, why do we like to eat watermelons in summer? 
Watermelons have a high water content and a sweet taste. So the watermelon contains water. It contains high water content. And do you all like watermelon? It is so sweet, right? Then, so during the warm and sunny days of summer, so we know that during summertime, it is sunny and warm. This seasonal fruit keeps us cool. So this fruit keeps us cool and this fruit ripens during summer season. Let's move to value-based question. There are six questions given. That is about the actions that could keep us safe during harsh weather condition. So this one, you can tick these actions. Tick the actions that keeps us safe during harsh weather condition. So see the first one. Drink plenty of water on a hot summer day. So if it is True, you can tick there. If it is a right action that could save us from harsh weather condition, you can tick there. The second one, do not play outdoors when it becomes very hot in summer. Third one, do not eat dinner in winter. Stay indoors when there is lightning. Fifth one, cover your hands, your neck, head and feet when the weather is very cold. Sixth one, do not step into water filled places. Such places can be deep. So you can tick the actions that could keep us safe during harsh weather condition. So did you all done that? Now let's move to the next one. That is the activity zone. So there is an activity for you. You can just go through this activity. Next is the project zone. So here, what you need to do is you have to observe the weather condition from Monday to Friday. Then below that it is given days, Monday to Friday and the different weather conditions. So you have to color the circles to note the conditions you have observed. So this is a very interesting activity for you. So you all can do this and below that there are three questions. Try to fill that questions also. So I want everyone to do this activity. Once they are done, you can take a picture of this and send to Microsoft Teams. So now you can take the next page, page number 115. There's the worksheet based on unit three. So let's see the first one. Name the following. So see, the first question, a natural thing. You can name a natural thing. Water, water is a natural thing. The second one, a man-made thing obtained from animals. You can write shoes, right? We use leather to make shoes and we get leather from animals. Let's see the third one, a natural op material obtained from the earth. Call. Fourth one, a natural thing used to make glass, that is sand. Fifth one, a man-made thing obtained from plants, that is paper. Now let's move to answer the following questions. So we have 15 questions here. Let's discuss the answers. So once you are done, you can write it down in your notebook. See the first one, name a gas present in the air. So there are different gases. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen. So you can name any gas that is present in the air. You can write oxygen. Second one. What changes water into water vapor? Heat of the sun changes water into water vapor. So the heat from the sun changes water that is present in ocean, river, seas into water vapor. And water vapor is the gaseous form of water. Third one, which gas do plants use to make their own food? Which gas? Carbon dioxide. So plants use carbon dioxide to make their own food. The fourth one, which gas from the air is used by most living things? So the answer is oxygen. Oxygen is used by most living things. Plants, animals, human beings all need oxygen to live. 
See the fifth one. Do plants clean air? Yes, plants clean air by absorbing carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen. It gives out oxygen. We all need oxygen to live and it take carbon dioxide. Plants need carbon dioxide to make their own food. See the sixth one. Is air needed for burning things? Do we need air for burning things? Yes, air is needed for burning things. Let's see the next one. From where does the fish obtain oxygen? Fish gets oxygen dissolved in water. See the eighth one. Do motor vehicles pollute air? Yes, motor vehicles pollute air. So we know that harmful gases are emitted from the vehicles and these gases pollute the air. The ninth one, do factories produce harmful gases? So what is the answer? Yes, factories produce harmful gases that pollute the air. Let's see the tenth one, can polluted air make us sick? So see the answer, yes, polluted air can make us sick. It can cause many diseases, it can cause many skin diseases to us. Even it can cause many problems to our lungs. Eleventh one, which are the three main seasons? So which are the three main seasons? Summer, rainy and winter are the main, are the three main seasons. See the next one, the twelfth one. What makes the day warm in summer? Heat of the sun makes the days warmer in summer. Why? Because the heat from the sun reaches this region. More heat from the sun reaches this region. So that's during summer season, it is very hot. Let's see the next one. What makes the weather cold in winter? Less heat from the sun reaches a region in winter, which makes the weather cold. So during winter season, we know it is very cold. Why? Because Less heat from the sun reaches this region. So that is why it is cold. The 14th one. In which season do we wear cotton clothes? Which season? That is during summer season. We wear cotton clothes in summer. The last one. What kind of clothes do we wear in winter? We wear woolen clothes in winter. We to keep our body warm. So we are done with the worksheet. So you can write it down in your notebook all these questions. That's all for today. Let's meet in the next class with a new chapter. Till then, thank you.